Florence Rose Pugh was born on January 3, 1996, in Oxford, England, United Kingdom. Her father was a restaurateur and her mother a dance teacher. Pugh was raised in Oxford, though as a girl her family moved to Spain for three years in the hopes of treating a recurring health issue that turned out to be tracheomalacia. Tracheomalacia results in a partially collapsed trachea, making breathing more difficult. It often sent Pew to the hospital when she was young. She has said of the condition, it's the reason I have a deep voice and why I sound like a goose when I laugh. Even as a child Pew knew how to enthrall an audience. When she played Mary in a nativity play at the age of six, she entertained spectators by adopting a northern accent and complaining about varicose veins. It was the first time I knew the power of being on stage. Pugh said. I remember thinking, oh god, they're waiting for me, they're listening to everything I say and I have complete control. As a teenager, Pugh sang and played guitar to cover songs such as Wonderwall under the username Flossie Rose on YouTube. Pugh attended the private schools Wickwood and St. Edwards in Oxford, but did not excel academically. I don't think I was built for school. Pugh told the New York Times in 2020. I just wanted to perform and make music and make pots. I grew up in a very loud and dramatic household, and we loved being in the spotlight, Pugh said in 2018. Her two older siblings also became actors. Her older brother Toby Sebastian portrayed Prince Tristan M. Martel on Game of Thrones and her older sister Arabella Gibbons trained as an actress and has worked on stage, as a singer and a vocal coach. Pugh also has a younger sister, Rafaela, who was born when Pugh was seven. While still studying in sixth form, Pugh made her professional acting debut in the 2014 drama The Falling, playing a precocious teenager opposite Maisie Williams. Tara Brady of the Irish Times deemed Pugh remarkable, while IndieWire's Oliver Littleton called her striking. In the same year, the actress was nominated for Best British Newcomer at the BFI London Film Festival as well as for Young British slash Irish Performer of the Year by the London Film Critics Circle. She was cast to portray a singer-songwriter in the Dramdy pilot Studio City, co-starring Eric McCormick as the character's father, the following year. The pilot was not picked up to series. In 2016, Pugh starred in the independent drama Lady Macbeth, a film based on the novella Lady Macbeth of the Msinsk district by Nikolai Ilskov, and appeared in the first series of the ITV detective series Marcella. In the former, she played Catherine, an unhappily married teenage bride who grows violent. Pew attributed her attraction to the part to her partiality for characters whose motivations are confusing or at least interesting. The role earned the actress acclaim. Reviewing the film for Variety, Guy Lodge commended her portrayal of the character's complex, under-the-skin transformation. She won the BIFA Award for Best Performance by an Actress in a British Independent Film for the role. In 2018, Pew garnered a nomination for the BAFTA Rising Star Award at the 71st British Academy Film Awards. She then played Cordelia to Anthony Hopkins' titular King Lear in Richard Eyre's television film King Lear and appeared in the short film Leading Lady Parts in support of the Time's Up initiative. Later that year, Pew portrayed Elizabeth de Burke in the Netflix historical film Outlaw King, co-starring Chris Pine as Robert the Bruce. Charles Bramesco of The Guardian found her to be excellent despite her thankless role. She next starred in a six-part miniseries adaptation of John L. E. Karras' spy novel The Little Drummer Girl, in which she played an actress who becomes embroiled in an espionage plot in the 1970s. Her performance was met with praise. 
While divided on the series overall, Richard Lawson of Vanity Fair credited Pew for being terrific throughout and added that she smartly mixes earthiness with sophistication, wisdom with naivete. Pew starred in three major films in 2019, during which she was recognized as having experienced an international breakthrough. She first starred as professional wrestler Paige in Fighting With My Family, a comedy drama about Paige's career. The film premiered at the 2019 Sundance Film Festival to positive reviews. Jeffrey McNabb of The Independent credited the actress for being completely convincing as the wrestler, adding that she had shown the same defiance, scruffy glamour and self-deprecating humor as the real-life Paige. Pew next headlined Ari Aster's horror film Midsommar, which chronicles an American couple, played by her and Jack Rayner, who travel to Sweden and encounter a cult. Critics complimented Pew's portrayal of the desolate Danny Arter, with David Edelstein of Vulture describing it as amazingly vivid. In her final film release of the year, Pew played Amy March, a fickle artist, in Little Women, a period drama film adaptation of Louisa May Alcott's novel of the same name directed by Greta Gerwig. Pew did not participate in rehearsals for the film, as she was filming Midsommar, which she believed proved conducive to her character's journey. The film received critical acclaim and grossed $209 million. In his review, David Rooney of The Hollywood Reporter praised the disarming grace, humor and a willful streak that grows almost imperceptibly into wisdom with which Pew managed the tricky contradictions of the part. Pugh earned nominations for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress and the BAFTA Award for Best Actress in a Supporting Role for her performance. Pugh portrayed Yelena Belova, a spy, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe superhero film Black Widow. Released in July 2021, the film garnered positive reviews from critics, who highlighted the actress's distinctive performance. She will reprise the role in the Disney and superhero series Hawkeye. Pew will star in the psychological thrillers Don't Worry Darling, set in California in the 1950s and directed by Olivia Wilde, and The Wonder, an adaptation of Emma Donoghue's novel of the same name. She is set to appear in the films Dolly and A Good Person as well as a film adaptation of the novel The Maid by Nita Prose. <laughs>